Two guitars, I have an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar sitting in my room. I can't play any of them though. <laughs> they add character to my room. I had a skateboard at one point too, but I don't know what happened to it. I see you. Get it. Um, I can't even play Guitar Hero. I uh, tried to play with my 12 year old sister a couple years back and she called me Guitar Zero. <laughs> Okay, I see that's you, man. Anyways, well, I'm from Modesto. Is anybody here from the 209? Oh, can I get a card for that? Can you do it, man? Anyways, I keep close ties with my friends back home who didn't go to college. Most of them are either married or they've got at least two, not one, two kids by now. And I was uh, chilling back home a couple weeks ago. I was talking to a buddy of mine who's married. His name's Carlos. Don't tell him I told you, though. And then uh, he was talking about he signed up for one of those online dating services. You know, so a couple weeks go by, and I hit him up yesterday to see if he could come up, and I actually asked him about it. I asked him how it was going, and he said he quit because uh, apparently they matched him up with his wife that he has on <laughs> with uh, the little space where you can write your name and your number. It's even on the commercial, the guy like pulls out a page and he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna give this to a girl. Well, I saw a bar, a guy in a bar, I saw a bar and a guy. I saw, I saw, I saw a guy in a bar last week and uh, he, uh, he came into the bar and he sat down, he ordered a beer, then he had a couple more, you know, and then he decides, you know, he wants to use the restroom. So he, uh, he writes in the thing, I spit in this beer, so don't drink it. So then he goes to the bathroom and he comes back. He notices that somebody else had written on it too. And it said, so did I. <laughs> Let's talk about something more even that affects all of us. Uh, this whole thing with this whole thing with healthcare and Obama. What is Obamacare? What? I feel like Obama's gonna come and put a thermometer in my mouth when I get a fever. <laughs> but like with all these budget cuts, they even have a wait list now for, for you to actually get services. And I was reading a thing in the paper last month about how the uh, government is cutting funding for Planned Parenthood and it made me think, you know, pretty soon they're gonna have a nine month waiting list to get an abortion. <laughs> So it's graduation approaches. I'm graduating in three weeks. You know, as you know, it gets closer, you know, it makes me think back to uh, the dorms. You know, the first year and all that stuff. And, uh, we were lucky enough to have a co-ed dorm buildings. One of my buddies that went nice. to uh, out of state. Nice. <laughs> One of my buddies went to an out of state Christian college, and they didn't have that luxury. So I talked to him, I remember talking to him, and he was jealous that we had those in his co-ed, his co-ed dorms. So I, uh, he told me that the first day, the dean, he uh, had a set of rules, and one of the, the first rule was, boys are not allowed into the girls' dorms, and vice versa. So he said, the first fine, the first time you get caught, is $60. The second time you get caught, is 80 and the third time you get caught, it's $180. So then, apparently, one guy raises his hand and says, how much for a season pass? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, thanks.